A couple of days after the now infamous FIBA World Cup qualifiers match turned all out brawl between heel as Pilipinas and Australia, it's still pretty much on top of the headlines. Understandable, given that the fiasco caught worldwide attention and will definitely have some serious implications on both sides moving forward. Unfortunately, this isn't the first basketball-related melee to happen involving professional Pinoy hoopers. Pinoys are some of the most passionate fans and players when it comes to basketball, so it's quite a regular occurrence that tempers begin to flare and tension begins to rise. On these certain occasions, things got out of hand, fast. Here are a few past instances where throwing passes escalated into throwing hands, resulting in an all-out basket brawl. PBA, Crispa vs. Toyota, April 1977. None of the players involved in the heel as Australia brawl wasn't even born, yet when this rivalry induced brawl took place. We go way back to 1977 for this gem, as legendary PBA rivals Crispa and Toyota were involved in what, according to accounts, was one of the most massive brawls in PBA history. You had guys clearing benches and legends like a toy company and Ramon Fernandez getting some meet me in the tunnel action and continuing the festivities in the dugout. It was reportedly so bad that players were taken to jail by the Metropolitan Police Commission. This, of course, happened during martial law, which meant that the fiasco earned the players an overnight stay in the slammer. PBA, Anejo vs. Presto, December 11, 1988. Back, when battles for third place were still a thing, Anejo and Presto locked in a best of five series to see who finishes second runners up in the 1988 reinforced conference and heading into game four, the Rum 65ers were one win away from clinching the series. Then, it happened. I am the third quarter, much like the heel is Australia brawl. A bench-clearing brawl erupted after Anejo import Tommy Davis fouled Presto's Philip Caesar hard as the Pinoy was driving to the basket. Caesar hit the ground hard sprung back up to retaliate. While it looked like cooler heads were going to prevail, chaos eventually ensued. Here's the fight in all its retro, short shorts glory. Anejo went on to win, 171-145, what a scoreline, and nine players wound up getting fined for the incident, including the likes of Davis, Caesar, Joe Ward, a toy company, and Rudy Distrito. Centennial Team vs. University of Minnesota Golden Gophers, 1998. Before there was Healers, there was the Centennial Team. Compassed of legends such as Alvin Patrimonio, Virgil Menezes, June Limpot, Olson Rosella, Johnny Abariantos, and many more, the Centennial team was the Philippines' version of the Dream Team, and they were set to compete in the 1998 Asian Games. In preparation for the Asian Games, the Centennial team went on an exhibition tour in the United States, taking on a number of U.S. NCAA teams in the Midwest. The final stop for the Centennial team was a showdown against the Minnesota Golden Gophers, which also featured a bench-clearing brawl. Early into the first half, the Philippines' Andy Siegel and Minnesota's Miles Tarver were ejected after figuring in a fistfight. Later on, a scuffle erupted in front of the Philippine bench, with Minnesota's Terrence Simmons also getting thrown out. The Golden Gophers went on to win 98-55, and the Centennial team went on to finish with a bronze medal in the 1998 Bangkok Asian Games. Jones Cup, Philippines vs. Taiwan, August, 1999. Back in 1999, the Philippines decided to send the Iloilo Megavolts to represent the country in the William Jones Cup, a basketball tournament held in Taiwan. This came after the Philippine Centennial team won the championship in the previous year. 
going against hosts Taiwan, the Philippines, once again, found themselves in the center of some rather unwanted attention. After what appeared to be lapses on the part of the officials, things turned physical, and, you guessed it, violence ensued. With a little over four minutes to go, a Taiwanese player was fouled hard, and benches were emptied as a riot erupted. Water bottles were thrown, and former PBA guard Joey Mente even wound up being sent to the hospital after the mess. The Philippines ended up pulling out of the tournament after three games. PBA, talk and text versus. Pure Foods, July 9, 2008. Oh, look, we're actually a few days away from the 10 year anniversary of this infamous moment in PBA history. Also, there seems to be a trend. I looks like every 10 years, something like this hits the news. In the final quarter of a knockout match between Talk and Text and Pure Foods in the 2008 PBA Fiesta Conference, things got physical between TNT import Terence Leather, this seems fitting, and Pure Foods big man John Don Salvador. After reaching his tipping point, Leather chucked the ball at Salvador, which in turn prompted James Yap to kick Leather. And then run for dear life. Thankfully, things were restrained before anything got way out of hand. Yap and Leather were the recipients of the biggest fines for this little incident. Pure Foods went on to win the game, 98-93, and we were left with the lasting image of Yap standing up for his teammate and then immediately regretting his actions. Yap did apologize for the incident afterwards. Yo, you can go and Google the video so that on July 9th, you can go up to someone and say, I am Moba, 10 year anniversary in Gayan Nung Away NG Talk and Text Saka Pure Foods. PBA, Global Port vs. San Mig Coffee, September 4, 2013. Early in the 2013 PBA Governor's Cup, Global Port and San Mig Coffee also found themselves in the middle of a brawl. That led to a couple of ejections, Mark Pingris and Kelly Nabong being in the center of it all. The incident began in the third quarter, again, when San Mig import Marky Blakely and Global Port's Marvin Hayes got tangled up, and Blakely's teammate Joe Devens took exception, shoving Hayes down. Even in his rookie years, Kelly Nabong already showed a penchant for getting into skirmishes as he responded on Hayes's behalf, putting his hands on Blakely. Pingris wasn't too happy about this, so he went ahead and landed a right hand flush on Nabong. Nabong, not one to shy away from fisty cuffs, put Pingris in a Mue tie clinch and tried landing some knees that would make Anderson Silva blush. Things eventually got separated, and the MVP of the peacekeeping team was then San Mig head coach Tim Cohn, who managed to pacify Nabong with an MMA like takedown from the back. Pingris and Nabong were sent off, obviously, and technical fouls were given to Devens and Hayes, 